Why do the new F1 cars have wheel covers? You may have seen F1 cars circulating the Yas Marina circuit in Abu Dhabi recently for the postseason test and be wondering, what on earth is that on the wheels? Well, they are wheel covers and they are one part of the many different technical regulations going into next year. And I thought it'd be a good idea to explain why they are being implemented. Let's look at the overall picture first. The aim for the 2022 Formula One car is simple. Allow for the cars to race closer by making the cars easier to follow when in the heat of battle. This is being, hopefully, I'll believe it when I see it, achieved by the completely revised and simplified aerodynamics that will cause less dirty air for the cars that are following. For F1 cars to achieve maximum downforce, the air needs to be as undisturbed as possible and just sitting there, waiting for an F1 car's warm embrace. With all of this in mind, this is where even the wheel covers come in. It's all in aid of making the aerodynamics of the car much more efficient and causing less havoc for cars that follow closely behind. The covers haven't necessarily been brought into the regulations to impact the tyres themselves though. Going from 13 inches last year to 18 inches in 2022, this is expected to change the way an F1 car reacts quite drastically. It is expected that with the complete overhaul of the tyres, drivers may experience difficulty keeping them from overheating, and is something that will be worked on in tests such as the Pirelli tyre test that happened recently in Abu Dhabi. This is where the genius of the F1 teams can come in though. As much as the wheel covers haven't been brought in for impacting tyre temperatures, wear and so on, that's where clever innovations are likely to be seen come testing in 2022 so that they can use them to manipulate temperatures easier for both cooling and heating. It'll be a very difficult job though when the wheel covers themselves cannot be tampered with. The curtain-like effect that the covers provide may also help the cars suffer from a tiny bit less drag. These 2022 F1 cars were originally predicted to be 3 to 4 seconds a lap slower, but the estimates more recently after the teams have had significant time to work on their ideas is that they may only be half a second slower. Small things like reducing tiny bits of drag can of course go a long way to saving lap time. It wouldn't surprise me at all if they end up being quicker at some point in the season. F1 teams are so blooming clever. There was some testing done earlier on in the year in May too at the Circuit de Barcelona Catalunya, where Red Bull and Alfa Romeo carried out some running for Pirelli, with the latter testing out the wheel covers too. Interestingly, Alfa wanted to test running only rear wheel covers on a circuit which is notoriously difficult for rear tyre temperatures and compared the difference when running without them too. Don't worry, before you start shouting, wait, that's not fair, surely all teams should have been able to run them. The data that was collected from this test was then shared with all the other teams. But then again, it must always be better when you're the team actually doing it as it's your own car. There you have it, an insight into the brand new wheel covers we'll be seeing from 2022. Are you a fan of how they look? Let us know in the comments section below.